Hi, this is H2. Welcome to my channel that talks about cryptocurrency. Any topic here is not financial advice. Please do your own research before investing. First of all, press the like and subscription button below to support this channel. Much appreciated. Today I'm going to share the Cyber Chess Heroes Arrangement for Match Part 2. And there was a part one video talks about hero arrangement. You may want to take a look if you miss it. So today in this video, I would like to share two tips and one, one reminder about hero arrangement. So let's look at uh, my phone screen. Uh, continues with previous advice for hero arrangement that uh, simply put, I talked about manage your heroes with higher attributes to your own uh, selected classes. Take my arrangement for example, I take rogue, mage, and knight for my hero collected. So uh, another point is about the total hero you used. Uh, if you have more heroes, then uh, you may consider that uh, you will have fewer chances to get what you want because the card base is uh, larger than like 20 heroes or 30 heroes. So the more heroes you have, then you may uh, have another perspective to consider. That's another point. So that's back to uh, today's tips and the reminder. Uh, I want to share that there are two famous formation at higher tiers like Diamond and the Master. The first formation is like uh, what I have for now. Uh, that's uh, mainly have three types of heroes. And usually, <clears throat> you will have uh, two major hero classes. Like me, I have Rogue and the Knights for my main heroes. And uh, you will have another heroes for the support class. For me, it's Mage. And also, I add one uh, like Lucky Draw. That's my Warrior with Stone if, uh, skill that sometimes will have surprising uh, effect on the battlefield. So that's my arrangement regarding the three types of heroes. And there is another famous formation that I personally not tried before, is focus on two heroes only. Like uh, for my case, I may choose Rogue and Mage for the main two heroes, that the distribution will like 27 vs 23. So there will be a higher, higher possibility and a higher chance for you to get three star heroes at the early stage, like four, four round and even three round. So that's the advantages of taking two types of heroes in your formation. But let's also have a drawback that if you have only two types of heroes, you cannot easily change your formation in each battle. Like when you see your opponents use many uh, warriors, you cannot change your formation to use more mages or other support unit. And for your opponent have many rocks that you may want to have stronger front line to sustain the rocks. But if you have only two classes, you cannot change that. And on the other hand, for my three types of heroes, because I have three types of hero, right? I may adjust a little bit to consider what heroes should I put in the battlefield at the first few rounds according to my opponent's uh, combination, hero combination. So that's pros and cons according to different situation. Then that's the strategy thinking that you should take. Okay, so that's the two famous formation I would like to introduce. 
and I seldom, rarely see four classes major in high tier、uh, ranks. That for four four types of types of heroes, it's pretty hard to get two stars and three stars at early stages. So. It will higher chance to be knocked out from the game, because other players got two star and three star heroes earlier than you did, so it's a disadvantages that you will have. You will lose the first few rounds, and if you have bad luck, you will face the strongest players among the eight players. In that cases, you may have. Lose five times streak, then you will get the eighth position. That's something we we don't want to see. So,、uh, use four types of heroes is not recommended in current season one cyber chess game. I don't know if it will be changed at a later stage or season two, but for now, maybe we can focus on three types of heroes or two types of heroes. That's the most popular and the more efficient way if you want to compete. Okay, so the next question will be:、uh, Some players may be new to the game, or don't have that much investment can put into the game. You will have fewer than fifty heroes, right? Like thirty heroes or twenty heroes. So, what can you make good use of your heroes? So my suggestion will be similar to the famous、uh, formation that、uh, you can use the ratio hero ratio to think about your formation. Like three classes, you don't need to put eighty, uh, twenty nine, twenty for each of your classes. Instead, you can have half your own heroes, like ten of rocks. And、uh, four mages, and also ten knights, for example. So like it's a ratio like two to one to two. That's a two one two formation. If you have only two types of heroes can be choose that most of your heroes are good at like warriors and rangers, then you can take the ratio uh for two, uh three to two. Like you have, ah,、uh, nine warriors and six rangers, and totally have fifteen heroes. So that's another formation you should come, you can consider. But ah,、uh, if you have too few heroes, like fifteen, you may have only have advantage at first few rounds, and at middle stage or at later stage of the battle. Because you don't have that much heroes, you can only use system cards that only have three hundred HP, thirty attack and defense, to forming your two stars and three star heroes. So you will comp、uh, comparatively weaker than your opponents. So that's your choice if you want to expand your hero size. But if you want to、uh, more competitive at a later stage of each battle, you will need more heroes definitely.、Hmm. Okay, so that's the case for the fewer if you have fewer than fifteen heroes. So that's the two tips I want to share, and there is one reminder, right? So the reminder is、uh, when you have. Decided to in increase your hero size, the portion of the skills of your heroes is something you need to consider. What's the portion of skills? Like, if you have ah、uh, twenty heroes, for example, you have twenty heroes. Then, if you if you only have four free skills, that you only have twenty five percent of skills of all all of your heroes. That's not enough. Uh, for competing with others, because、uh, in the battle you you can hardly get. Mostly depend on your luck to have the heroes with skills. 
in the market that you can purchase. So if you want to expand your hero size, I will recommend that uh, you need to buy more skills as well. So my recommendation is that uh, you can have maybe 50% of your heroes has skills. That will be much better. Okay, so that's the uh, tips and the reminder for you today. Hmm. So I think that's what I would like to share. Then uh, in the end, I would like to promote my cyber chess team called the Knight, Knights of Blood KOB. So uh, I will put the join link, community link below, so you can join at any time. So I wish today's tips and uh, reminders can help you to advance to the next tier before Friday, uh, the reward released. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.